In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH4NO3 plus NaOH. This is ammonium nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. So the first thing with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. Here, the molecular equation, it's already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, compounds with the ammonium ion, they're very soluble. So they're AQ there, that's going to be aqueous, dissolve. It's going to split apart into its ions. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. That'll be aqueous. Here we have nitrates and the sodium. Both are very soluble. We're going to put AQ after that. When we get to the ammonia, it's a little bit challenging. Ammonia here, it could be a gas or it could be dissolved. Either way, it doesn't matter much. If it's a gas, we're not going to split it apart. If it's dissolved, it's not going to split apart since ammonia, that's a weak base, one you want to remember. So it's a weak electrolyte. It's not going to split apart. I'm going to call it a gas. doesn't much matter. For the water here, that's a liquid. We have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. This is the complete or total ionic equation. So the ammonium ion, that's always one plus. Good one to remember. So we have NH4 plus and I'll write the states later. Let's not do that now. The nitrate ion, always one minus. So we have our nitrate ion. For the sodium hydroxide, sodium's in group one on the periodic table that has a one plus. This whole hydroxide, one minus. So we'll have the sodium ion, Na plus, plus that hydroxide ion, OH minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have our sodium ion again, and then we have our nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Ammonia, we said that's a gas. We're not going to split that apart since it's a gas. And even if it was aqueous, we wouldn't split this apart because it's a weak base. It's a weak electrolyte. And then we have water, which is just a liquid. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed and we're not interested in them. We have the ammonium ion here and ammonia over here in the products. They're different. We can't cross those out. But we do have the nitrate ion in the reactants and in the products. We can cross that out. We have the sodium ion again in the products. We can cross that out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for NH4NO3 plus NaOH. I'll clean this up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. You note that charge is conserved. We have a plus and a minus. They give us a net charge of zero here. These compounds are all neutral. Net charge of zero as well. And if you count the atoms up, they're all balanced. For the ammonia, if we had a gas, we didn't split it apart. So it's just NH3. If it was aqueous, because this is a weak electrolyte, this one's a weak base, it would just be AQ here instead of G. So not too big of a difference. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NH4NO3 plus NaOH. Thanks for watching.